Now, let me tell you a small story. It's going to be just like bedtime stories. Oh, it is not for bedtime. It's actually more for lifetime. The story is about Chloe, a high school girl waking up late. Chloe is rustily riding a bike to school. It's raining heavily. The road gets slick, so on her way to school, she accidentally falls and hurts herself. There are bruises and bumps. Her clothes are all wet. But fear of going late for her group's presentation, Chloe gets up right away, and fortunately, she's still able to ride to school. Arriving at the class just in time, it's Chloe who's in great pain right now. But her mind forces her to focus more on the presentation script. So she decides to hide her pain and goes for it. Goes for the speaking. Her speech ends with applause, and Chloe has probably done a great job. So here you can see Chloe was hiding her pain throughout the presentation to fulfill the project and to not let the rest of the team down. You, I, we have to admit that okay, there are times in life when it could be useful to hide our true feelings behind a smile. A prime example. Our photo shoot day. However, in most cases, faking your smile would do you more harm than good. How could it be? Let's get back to the story. After class, Chloe goes for a coffee with two of her close friends. The friends talk about how Chloe's costume gets so dirty today. In the moment that Chloe was going to tell them about her bad morning, the other friend rudely interrupts her with jokes of Chloe's dumb face while presenting the project. Their words hurt him, and from that moment, Chloe decides not to tell them about her day anymore, but to silence the pain. It's not the first time she's been hurt by those friends, yet Chloe's still pretending everything is okay, like she is living her life as a lie. Chloe actually represents many of us. Pretend to get along, knowing you're just tack along. Pretend to be strong when your trauma piles. Pretend to smile when your heart screams inside. Pretend to be fine denying the rainy side. Pretend to be happy, and you then take your own life. Sometimes life sucks, or it could be most of the time. It gives us so much pressure that some of us cannot handle it. So the solution that many choose to look for. Is to put on a mask and take it off at the end of the day, thinking that oh, the other people couldn't see that I'm struggling, and they still perceive us as a strong, brave, independent, successful person. Wow, that sounds really great, doesn't it? We think that we've tricked people, but it turns out we've just tricked ourselves. The fake smile, the fake things—they could feel so good, but don't get lost into the fake it to make it concept, because we might not make it. The mind tells us to stay strong, but it might not understand that crying, screaming, feeling hurt. Each of those emotions is not called weak, but is human. You don't have to deny yourself. Don't do it. But to let you be you, acknowledge your feelings, and remember that how you feel is how you feel. Oh, this is me standing on TEDx stage, feeling anxious, really anxious. You guys just don't see it. So the story hasn't ended yet. As soon as Chloe gets home from school, her mom notices the dirt on Chloe's uniform, and she gently asks Chloe, "What happened?" It is the mom who understands and sympathizes Chloe's feelings. That's love. Yeah. However, Chloe might never know that today was also a horrible day for her mom. The mom didn't make the deal, and her company is on the verge of going bankrupt. Here, by giving you one more perspective from Chloe's mom, what I was trying to say is. 
it's not always what you see and you have no idea what people have gone through or what people are having you to go through. If you can see me, I'm smiling now. <laughs> But could you really tell whether I'm happy or not? Well, if I had the intention of hiding myself, I bet you can't tell. So what's the point here? Shouldn't we be more gentle with the people around us? Our parents, our friends, our neighbors, a random stranger that bumps into us on the street. Each of them could have suffered from something of which we have no idea. So, a little of a soft tone, a little of a hi, a little of you okay, a little of a listener, a little of no judgment, or a little of a hug, that would be no little at all. Oh, this generation is becoming faker and faker. Yeah, fake news, fake photo, fake accounts, blah, blah, blah. We can't tell what's real anymore. But I hope that it would never be your happiness to be artificial. That must have really heard. Not able to express. But hey! Don't go into the darkness. We still have to see the sunshine. Take a look at your wind. So that it could be healed up. Promise? Have to live your own life and living so merrily. The original songs of which I was singing is from the cartoon Adventure Time and it's called Come Along With Me. So if you're hearing my voice, reading or touching my words, would you like to come along with me? on the road to be genuinely happy. Haven't obtained it yet, so we can go together. The road might get slick. We might fall and hurt ourselves. It might take time to get up, but we will get up. We will. Hope to see our hearts smiling every single moment. Thank you.